Factorization is the process of determining the expressions which when multiplied with each other are equal to the product. These expressions are called factors. For example, 10 into 20 is equal to 200, 2x into 3y is equal to 6xy and x plus y into x minus y is equal to x square minus y square. In the above examples, 10 and 20 are the factors of the product 200. Similarly, 2x and 3y are the factors of the product 6xy and x plus y and x minus y are the factors of the product x square minus y square. When we factorize an algebraic equation, we write it as a product of factors. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. Factorization of algebraic expression, division of algebraic expression. Here we will learn about the factorization of algebraic expression. The method of writing a given algebraic expression as the product of two algebraic expressions is known as the factorization of an algebraic expression. Factors. Let us consider some examples. We know that 28 is equal to 2 into 14, where 2 and 14 are the factors of 28, and 28 is known as the product of its factors 2 and 14. Similarly, xy is equal to x into y, where xy is the product and x and y are its factors. Also, 8 into x plus y is equal to 8x plus 8y, which clearly shows us that 8 and x plus y are the factors of 8x plus 8y. Factors of a monomial The factors of a monomial consist of every literal, their product and numbers that will divide it exactly. For example, write down all the possible factors of 15 into y square. Solution Therefore, all possible factors of 15 into y square are 1, 15 into y square, 15, y square, 15 y, y, 3, 5 into y square, 5, 3 into y square, 5 y and 3 y. Common factors of monomials. Consider 2 x y and 5 x. The possible factors of 2 x y are 1, 2 x y, 2 x y, 2 x, y, 2 y and x and the possible factors of 5 x are 1, 5 x, 5 x. Thus the common factors of 2 x y and 5 x are 1 and x. Now consider 2 x, 20 x square and 14 x y. Factors of 2 x are 1, 2 x, 2 x. Factors of 20 x square are 1, 20 x square, 20 x square, 2, 5, 2 x square, 5 x, 2 x, x, 5 x square and 20 x. Factors of 14 x y are 1, 14 x y, 14 x y, 14 x, y, 14 y, x, 2, 7 x y, 2 x y, 7, 2 x, 7 y, 7 x and 2 y. Thus the common factors of 2 x, 20 x square and 14 x y are 1 x, 2 and 2 x. Out of these common factors, the common factor that has the greatest coefficient and the highest power of the variable is 2 x. Thus, 2x is the HCF or the highest common factor of 2x, 20x square and 14xy. Factorization by HCF While factorizing, we take out a common factor from the given algebraic expression, but our work becomes simpler if we take out the HCF in the first step itself. Simpler steps of factorization by taking out HCF are given below. Write down the given expression find the HCF of its terms, write the terms as the product of the HCF and remaining factor, take out the HCF by using distributive property, simplify the remaining expressions.
Here are some examples. Let's do the first example. Factorize 2x plus 18. Solution. The HCF of 2x and 18 is 2. So, 2x plus 18 is equal to 2 into x plus 2 into 9 is equal to 2 into x plus 9. Remember, if we do not use the HCF method, then the number of steps increases. Factorization of algebraic expression when a binomial is a common factor. In this method, the common factor is a binomial which is taken common and the remaining expression is simplified. The following examples will show the procedure. In this example, we will factorize the following algebraic expressions. Solution a plus b into 2a plus 3b minus a plus b into a plus 1. Since a plus b is the common factor in both expressions, therefore on taking a plus b common, we have a plus b into a plus 3b minus 1. x plus y into 3a plus 2b minus 3x minus 2y into 3a plus 2b Taking 3a plus 2b common in this expression, we have 3a plus 2b into minus 2x plus 3y. Factorization by using identities. We have already learnt the following identities. a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. So, now to factorize, we will have one of the forms on the right side of the above equations and we will have to write them as factors written on the left side of the above equations. That is, a square plus 2ab plus b square is equal to a plus b whole square. It can also be written as a plus b into a plus b. Similarly, a square minus 2ab plus b square is equal to a minus b whole square. It can also be written as a minus b into a minus b. And a square minus b square is equal to a minus b into a plus b. We will show such factorization through the example given below. In this example, factorize x square plus 8x plus 16 using algebraic identities. Factorization by splitting the middle term. Consider x plus a into x plus b. Their product is x plus a into x plus b is equal to x into x plus b plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus bx plus ax plus ab. Where the middle term is a plus b, x and the last term is ab. Clearly, Middle term is equal to a plus b x is equal to sum of constants x and last term is equal to a b which is equal to the product of constants. Therefore, x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus sum of constants x plus the product of constants. Let's take the help of some examples to understand this concept. This is the product but for factorization, we need to reverse our steps. To factorize such expressions, we use the following steps. 1. Write the given expression a into x square plus bx plus c. 2. Identify the constants where a is the coefficient of x square, b is the coefficient of x and c is the constant term. 3. Find the product of the coefficient of x square and constant term, that is, a c. 4. Split the coefficient of x in such a way that their sum is b and product is a c. Write the middle term as the sum of these two terms. 5. Factorize the obtained expression by grouping terms and taking out common factors. Factorizing by grouping in pairs. Let's consider an algebraic expression. y square plus y plus 3y plus 3. Here we observe that there is no common factor to all four terms. Let's group the expression, that is, y square plus y plus 3y plus 3 is equal to y into y 
plus 1 plus 3 into y plus 1. Hence, we can see that there is another common factor, y plus 1. Therefore, y square plus y plus 3y plus 3 is equal to y plus 1 into y plus 3. This method is called factorizing by grouping.